you know, I've been thinking a lot about the edge and finding kind of my edge. What comes to mind when you think about edge? Like, what's the first thing you guys get in word association? Razor blade, right? Cutting edge, right? <laughs> Bleeding edge, leading edge, competitive edge. And it comes from the uh, kind of what's going on in this economy. You know, we've been doing a lot of homework around that, been talking to a lot of CPAs, a lot of gurus about this. And what everybody says is the recession is actually not going to ever end. That what we're going through, despite the cyclical up and down, is the death of the industrial age. And what that's causing is fundamental shifts in literally everything. And so what you're seeing is kind of disintegration of the old model. And then you're going to see people who get it and start to think about it, reassemble it in a new model. And those are going to be the new winners. Like just think about some of the things going on. Blockbuster video, what's happening to them? New York Times, oldest, most venerable newspapers on its back. Apple killing the CDs, right? We just heard that this, this season. So, you know, these big businesses aren't just stupid, but they're missing all those kind of fundamental shifts. And I think it's going to start to hit our profession. Actually, I think it already has. And, and that kind of worries me. That's what makes me think about where's that edge? Where's the edge for me and our organization as serving CPAs? And how can we help CPAs get that edge? That's kind of how we've been thinking about it. And so we've been, you know, listening to some of the kind of key things around, talking to, uh, we did the uh, ASCPA Leadership Academy, and we had 35 of the best and brightest young CPA nation around the country. And they're concerned. They're not happy. They don't like kind of fundamentally where, they're, where they are, what they're doing in their organizations. You know, if you really get them aside, they're going to say, we're doing things wrong and we can't have an impact. People aren't listening to us. People don't respect us. That's what they're saying. Then I shifted and worked with one of the largest firms in the country, and we actually took the risk of getting all our partners in a room and engaging them in a discussion about the future. Now, most of the big name brand consultants said that was crazy. But at the end of that meeting, this 100-plus partner said it's the first time they ever sat down with their partners and talked about the future of the firm, the future of the business. Think about that, right? So that's kind of what's missing, is we're not able to get people and engage them and come together around what we should do and then kind of take it forward. So as I've been kind of reading and thinking about this notion of edge, one of the books that's inspired me is The Power of Pull. I don't know if you've seen that. John Hagel and uh, John Seeley Brown, one other guy. But they talk about, and I think I've seen this in a lot of places, right? The shift that we're seeing right now is we're going from command and control to connect and collaborate. From hierarchy to network. From transaction to relationship. From push to pull. Right? So the idea here is what can we be doing to pull people to the stuff that we need to do from a change management perspective or just from a future vision perspective, right? What can we do to engage them? Because what we're all talking about is everyone's burnt out and scared from this recession. So how do you get to that discretionary <laughs> effort, right? Everyone's given you their eight hours or 10 hours or billable time that you're asking for, but you're not getting that extra discretionary effort that really separates good from great. And the way you get that actually as I like to say, go slow to go fast. You have to take the time to back up and engage those folks. And in, in a large organization, it's even harder, but you have to engage the leadership, you have to engage the middle, and you have to engage the full organization. And not many people are ready to take that kind of investment, but that's where, really where that engagement will come from. And I think that's what we need to be starting to think about, is how can we take the time to really connect people to the why? Connect people to the purpose so that they can see the vision of the firm or the company and then really connect to it at a deep level. And if we take that time, you actually will be able to execute faster or better. You won't need all the controls and policies that you all have. So I'll give you this one story. We were out at the Accounting Today conference and I'm looking at Jason and Michael. And little notes to us, we've been looking at this. We've been doing some research on positive psychology and leadership and building that into our training. 
And Zappos is a big model. I don't know if you guys have heard the Zappos story. So Tony Shea, CEO there, took that company from bankruptcy to 1.2 billion in 10 years. And he did it on the back of basically positive psychology. And it's funny because our latest partner, she just graduated from UPenn's uh, Masters in Positive Psychology. That's, we were building that into our training when his book came along. And we're like, wow, there's a model. Of so anyhow, we went and visited Zappos. And we set up this, this uh, tour. And Jason and his young CPA set the same date, same tour right before the conference. Anyhow, the bottom line was, at the end of that, Tony Shea, when you ask him, what would he have done if he could have done something different? He said, I would have invested more and faster in culture, which is really what we're talking about, right? Taking the time to connect and engage people to your purpose. And I think that's where your edge is. So I think we have to figure out how we can do more of that and make that more systematic into what we do. But the young professionals want it. I'm seeing some, young, some of you guys that are doing it. And that's what, that's what we're seeing. That's, that's uh, some amazing possibilities. Thanks.